I've been trying different creatures for my paladarium with eastern newts. Newts feed on all kinds of insects, including isopods. Different types of isopods can be found where trees grow. I found three different types of isopods in local parks of New York City. I believe this one is Aniscus isopod. Well, I'm not 100% sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Take a closer look at these Aniscus isopods. Aniscus have dots on the back and some kind of a skirt. Here I have a half a dozen adult isopods. That should be enough to start a new colony. I use 16 knots food grade plastic containers for culturing all my isopods. Make a couple holes in the cover of the container for air circulation. Put some wilted leaves. I pick oak leaves at the same spot where I found isopods. Mist the leaves. Isopods love the bark of trees. That is why I find them most often. So uh, let's add a couple pieces of bark. Isopods like moisture. Mist the bottom sides of the bark where isopods will hide. Basically, we made the simplest terrarium. Now uh, let's move the isopods in. Oh, perfect! Three isopods of different age size for you to see. And the rest goes in as well. Isopods always move away from the light. The largest aniscus I got is slightly less than 2 cm long. Bark and leaves retain a lot of moisture. Cover the container. All set and ready on July 23, 2022. I check on my isopods once a week. Add food if necessary and miss the culture. Isopods like to snack on different vegetables. I give them a slice of whatever is available once a week to check if they like it. Isopods melt as they grow. Here you can see the remains of the malt. Leave the old malt in the container for isopods to eat. One month later, on July 24th, I spotted tiny baby isopods. The babies gathered on a slice of zucchini. The old zucchini slice is getting spoiled already. I better remove it now. Use a soft brush to move babies from the slice. Let's try a slice of carrot this time. August 15th. It's been about 6 weeks since I set up this culture. I noticed mold start growing on the bark and leaves. Normally I would remove mold right away. I've never seen my other isopods feed on mold. Though I'm not sure about aniscus yet. Maybe they eat mold. There is only one way to know it for sure. Let the mold grow. Give isopods a chance to munch the mold or not. August 29th. Two weeks passed by and the mold seemed to be taking over the entire container. The aniscus isopods scattered away from the mold. They even stay in the bright light. Remember, normally isopods run away from the light, hiding under the bark and leaves. Here all leaves and bark are covered with mold. And all isopods I see now are barely moving, even when I touch them. Aha, uh -huh. some isopods gathered on a yet clean slice of potato. Also, I don't see adult isopods anymore. Now I have to reset this culture to save my aniscus isopods from the mold. The popular belief that isopods and springtails feed on mold does not stand fact check. Not in my past or current experiment anyway. Perhaps certain types of isopods feed on mold or feed on some types of mold. Well, more reasonable to me is that isopods compete against mold for food sources. That is what makes isopods and springtails the best cleaning crew in terrariums and such. Isopods choose a recurring matter where mold otherwise would grow. 
it takes a big crowd of small isopods to keep big tanks clean. Let's skip forward. I saved enough aniscus isopods to keep this culture going after the mold poisoning experiment. He can see the same about 10 months old culture on April 4th, 2023. Once again, my isopods don't eat mold. Isopods help in preventing mold from growing. Isopods makes nice, simple to take care pets that terrariums benefit from. Their isopods do not eat mold. Have fun and happy isopods.